Lesson 4.6, Two-Digit Addition. We can record, that means write, the steps of adding two-digit numbers. We add the ones first. If there are 10 or more ones, we regroup 10 ones as 110 and write the remaining ones in the sum. Then we add the tens and write the sum. When we regroup 10 ones as 110, we don't change the value of the sum. It makes it easier for us to write the sum. Here we have 18 plus 16. We start by adding the ones. 8 plus 6 is 14. And 14 ones is 110, four ones. We regroup this 110 into the tens column. We write the four ones in the ones column. Then we add the tens. One, two, three tens. 18 plus 16 is equal to 34. There are three steps to what we just did. We add the ones first. We regroup 10 ones as 110. Then we add the tens. So for 28 plus 17, we add the ones first. We have an 8 plus 7. We can model it with 8 ones and 7 ones. 8 plus 7 is 15. For the second step, because we have a 15, that's 1, 5, 10 ones, we can circle in our model 10 ones and regroup them as a 10, and we cross them out because we've moved them to the tens place. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. We regrouped the 110. We put the five ones into the ones column. See the five ones? Now, for our third step, we add the tens. We have a one plus a two plus a one, that's four. 28 plus 17 is equal to 45. We don't forget to add that regrouped 10. You have to remember to add that. We regroup if we need to. We write the sum, add the ones first. We have 47 plus 24, add the ones first. Seven plus four is 11. 11 is 110 and one one. Now we add the tens place. One plus four is five, six, seven. We have seven tens. 47 plus 24 is equal to 71. Let's try it with this one. We have 52 plus 15. We add the ones. Five plus two more is seven. We didn't have enough to make a 10, so we don't need to regroup. We just add the tens. Five plus one is equal to six. 52 plus 15 is equal to 67. Here we have 45 plus 39. We start by adding the ones. Nine plus five more is 14. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is 110, four ones. We regroup the 10 to the tens column. Now we add all the tens. Four plus three is seven, plus one more is eight. 45 plus 39 is equal to 84. Now there are printable copies of these blank addition frames in the photo section of the Joanne School Facebook page. A different way to add would be to break apart the add ends into tens and ones, then add the partial sums. If we're adding 27 plus 36, we can add the 7 plus 6, which is equal to 13, and write the 110 in the tens column and the three ones in the ones column. Then we add two tens plus three tens, which is five tens. That's 50. We write the five in the tens column and a zero in the ones. Now we add them. Three plus zero is three. One plus five is six. 27 plus 36 is equal to 63. If you remember back from lesson 4.3, where we did break apart the add-ins, we did 27, which is 20 plus seven, and 36, which is 30 plus six. We added the seven plus six to get 13, and the 20 plus 30 to get 50. Do you see what we did here? And 50 plus 13 is equal to 63. We can do it the way we've been doing in this video. We can add seven plus six, which is 13. That's one, 10, three, one. So we regroup the one, 10 to the tens column and write the three in the ones column. Then we just add the tens. 
3, 4, 5, 6. We have 63. Either way, we'll get the same sum. Sarah made 28 blue necklaces and 18 green necklaces. She sold five necklaces. How many necklaces does Sarah have now? So we can first circle our important information. 28 blue, 18 green, but sold five. We need to total the blue and green necklaces, then we need to take five away that she sold. We can add 28 plus 18, the blue plus the green, 8 plus 8, that's a doubles fact, that's 16. That's 110, six ones. Then we add the tens column, we have 2, 3, 4. That means she made 46 blue and green necklaces. And she sold five, so we're going to subtract five from the 46 she made. Six minus five is one, and we drop down the four. That means she has 41 necklaces. Now there's another way to solve this. We could take the 28 blue necklaces and take five away that she sold. Eight minus five is three. We just bring down the two because we're not taking away any tens, and we have 23. Now we add the 18 green ones. Eight plus three is eight, nine, 10, 11. We regroup the 110 and 11 like this. We put the 110 in the tens column and the one in the ones column. Now we add the tens. We've got two, three, four. And we get 41 necklaces just like we did here. So there's usually more than one way to solve a problem. One way is usually easier. Both ways we used addition and subtraction. See? Subtraction, addition. Remember we only regroup if we have enough to make a 10. For 34 plus 12, when we add the ones, 4 plus 2 is 6. That's not enough to regroup. We only have six ones, so we just add the tens. Three plus one is four, it's 46. So there was no regrouping needed. But for 39 plus 12, nine plus two is 11. That's one ten and one one. We put the one ten in the tens column. We add the tens, we have five tens. It's 51. So regrouping was needed because the ones column was able to make a 10. Let's try some test preparation. Bob has 59 rocks in his collection. He gets 26 more rocks. How many rocks does he have now? So first let's circle the important information. There's 59 rocks and 26 more. So we can add them together to get a total. We can add 59 plus 26. Here's our choice of answers. We can start by adding the ones place. Nine plus six is equal to 15. 15 is one ten five ones. We regroup the 10 to the tens column. Now we add the tens column. Five, six, seven, eight. 59 plus 26 is equal to 85. We look over here and see, oh, there's 85. This must be the right answer. We fill in the dot. Make sure you fill it in completely. So as you're adding two-digit addition and you're regrouping, don't forget to add that regrouped 10. You want to make sure you include it in the sum. For our next lesson, 4.7, we're going to practice two-digit addition some more. Stay strong, stay positive, stay safe, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.